Hello everyone, it's Danny here. Bit of a bit of a different video today. Bit of a different video. I've got the headphones on, so you know I'm not doing a role play. You guys usually see me doing role plays, being a silly little boy, doing getting up to my various antics. That's usually what you see me. You never usually see Danny me. You just see me pretending to be a, a variety of silly people. So I thought, hey, we'd we'd mix it up a little bit today. With something a little bit, a little bit different. I'm gonna play a little bit more into the ASMR side today because that's something that usually my role plays are lacking a little bit. They've got they've got the softly spoken. I usually I usually get that when I remember and don't raise my voice. Sometimes my role plays have have other ASMR triggers in, but it's it's rare. It's lacking of recent. So I thought um you know which would change it up a little bit. This will be me as as Danny. No no goofing, no sillies. Well. They'll be goofing and sillies, it's me, but no direct, no, there's no conceit. It's just me, and yeah. And we've got, uh, I've got a little notepad here. A little notepad here. It's got, it's got, um, whatever. That would, might have just muted for you, because I just uh, blew air directly into the microphone. I'm not sure if you've ever worked with microphones. They don't like it when you blow air into microphones. They get a bit mad. I'll do that again, but I won't. Some post-it notes I'm going to be drawing on with this pen, just as we have a little natter. As you can tell by the title of this video, today we're going to be talking about uh, controversial topics. So immediately this video might already be demonetized, so if you didn't see an advert, you're, you're welcome. I suppose. Uh, but if they hey, if it is, well, I've got a little, I've got a little, I've got a little Patreon. I've got this. <laughs> uh, okay. So, I've just got some topics on my phone here in front of me. We're just gonna have a little talk about them whilst I do some doodling on uh, on sticky notes. Um, I first want to apologise if any of my views offend you. They, I don't think they will. I'm a very passive person. But if they do, hey, everyone's different. We've all got different beliefs. Uh, yell about it in caps lock in the comment section and um, I'll yell at you back and it'll be a great and healthy discussion. So, yeah, I think I have quite... My beliefs are quite humanist. I don't even know what the word humanist means, to be honest with you. But I feel, I feel like they, they put people first. They put, I, I could be wrong. I don't know what I'm on about. Right, so I'm just going to have a little, I'm gonna, gonna, I'll try and do a little doodle related to the thing I'm talking about. Maybe. I, I don't, I don't know. Uh, sunburn sunburned my scalp recently. I'm allergic to sun cream. So I can't ever wear sun cream until I go to the doctors and be like, fix me. Which I could, so I could do that today. I just haven't. I just haven't. So I'm, I'm just itchy because I'm just. I went. I went outside like a week and a half, two weeks ago now, and uh, <laughs> I was just out in the sun for too long. Uh, sat in a sat in a beer garden of a pub and drank a cider, which I never usually drink, uh, and I melted. But it was a nice day. That's, uh, my, my, I'm just. If I you see me just scratching incessantly, I've not got. I'm not riddled. I'm just, um, some sunburn. Yeah. Okay, so the first topic to talk about, of my, my, my opinions on controversial topic is religion. Now, some of you, I, I think I, some of you have been following me for, for many, many years, might recall, I used to do a bit more videos about religion when I was younger, edgier, some might say. I prefer younger. Um... I used to have more opinions. Um, not saying I don't have opinions now. I just don't. I just don't care <laughs> as much. To be completely honest with you, um, I I'm an agnostic atheist, which is essentially, from what I've realised, an agnostic an agnostic atheist is someone who is an atheist, but there's someone who is agnostic. Um, but I should. I'll define some words, why not? So atheist comes from a theist, no religion, or lack of religion, I think. Um, which means you don't you don't have a religion. You don't have an agnostic comes from uh I, I think it essentially translates to I don't know. Or not knowing. 
but sometimes when you say you're agnostic, people believe there's you, you're on the fence, you're on like a dividing line between believing there's a god and believing there's not a god, and you could be tipped either way, which for a lot of people who identify as agnostic isn't isn't so much the case. It's more examining the situation, you realise that you cannot be sure one way or the other. I think people who are staunchly atheist and people who are staunchly uh, theist, they share the same... I'm going to be drawing. They share the same fallacy, um, in my view, of certainty where there can be no certainty, really. Someone who is as... Um, someone who is as sure there is a god can't and someone who is as sure there isn't a god are kind of for the best word in the world falling prey to the same thing well you surely someone who's, who believes they're a god because they have faith and that's completely okay but I, I don't I, I completely understand why people are religious I completely understand why people have faith I know a lot of very close friends and family do it and I so I've got no problem with it. I've been to church a couple of times. I had a lovely time. Well, I was a bit bored, but it, you know, I mean, it, it is what it is. As long as it's not hurting anyone, I couldn't, I couldn't care less. In the best world of the world. Um, but yeah, they're using their faith for certainty. And whilst atheism, obviously, your, you, 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 the burden of proof isn't on them. But if you're just as sure there isn't something, um, I don't know. I don't think there is a god. I don't think there's a divine creator, anything like that. Um, but I know, because of how the world works, you can't be sure. You can never be sure. That's something you can't, you can't ever be sure of. I don't believe there is one, but I know I can't, I can't say for certain that there is not. Hence why agnostic, atheist. When it comes to religion, I, I used to, when I was younger, I was a bit of an anti-theist. I didn't really get it. I still don't. I still don't get it. But it um, it used to bug me. But now I'm older and I've grown up a bit, and I can see sort of people. People uh, they need it. Some people need it because it helps them. It gives them peace. It gives them calm. It, f it helps people find purpose. It helps pe people on the right tracks. And for that, I think it's absolutely fantastic. I think it's. A, I think it's a great. If it help, it helps you personally. You go for it. But where I don't like it is when it gets controlling, damaging, manipulating. Some of the practices used by, for example, Jehovah's Witnesses and stuff like that, I, I really, really don't agree with. I don't agree with um, organizations that are quite separatist that are, believe that you should only interact with people inside there using a variety of tactics there. I think is very naughty. And they shouldn't do it. I'll tell them off. I, I do. I go up to him and go, hey, I don't. I've never met a Jehovah's Witness. I've met a lot of ex-Jehovah's Witnesses, which should say something. And same with some of the some of the Latter-day Saint stuff. I think it's a bit odd. But for most parts, the mainstream religions. <laughs> and I don't have anything against the people, necessarily. Unless they're the people that are uh, inciting um, the controlling behaviour. I don't really care too much. Um... Most of the people I've met are for these are really nice. All of the religious people I've met are assholes are just assholes, not because they're religious, just because they're assholes. <laughs> okay. So that's my take on religion. I'm agnostic atheist. Don't really care what everyone else does as long as everyone's happy. I believe that. I think that's most people's take, though. I don't think that's a particularly controversial take. It could be if I if I if I came out and said, "Hey guys, yeah, I'm hardline evangelical Christian." Um, oh, okay, so if I was doing that, you guys would probably be like, all right, unsubscribe to this bad boy, <laughs> and you'd be perfectly justified doing it. Um, I, I wasn't really paying attention to the drawing I was trying to do, so what we've got is old uh, Jesus on the cross, because it's all I could think of, and I can't really, I don't know enough about any other religions to accurately <laughs> draw them, and I, I don't know enough about Islam to know what I shouldn't draw because I know they're a bit funny about that. So I just kind of played it safe, went for a Jesus on the cross, and below is a little little thing of the Crusades because that's what came to mind as well. Love they love a crusade, didn't they? Oh, they, they loved a crusade. Okay, 
Oh, this one is quite a controversial topic now. There might be a bit of a dividing one. Uh, oh god, what on earth am I going to draw for this? Oh no. Uh, okay. Uh, this is abortion. Now, being uh, Sam's uterus, I don't really have the capabilities to to have, uh, you know, one of those, a baby. I forgot the word baby. Wow. I don't really, I've never really thought it's my place to weigh in on this topic. I think it's, it's an issue for people with uteruses. It's, it's there. You know, I'm, I'm very, very pro-choice. I think the pro-life argument does not stand up at all. I th personally think it's, it's ridiculous and the implication of, not ridiculous, I'm not saying, <laughs> yeah, fuck, could have all, get rid of, fuck it all. Not, I don't, I, but I think the pro-life, it's, from what I understand, and I'm not super well versed, not super well read on this, from what I understand, it's based sort of on the principle that all life is sacred. Sorry, my, um, Mike died, so, not Mike, I, I don't know if you guys know Mike, he didn't die, my, my, my microphone died, I don't know, I don't know anyone called Mike, that's not true, my uncle called Mike, he's still alive, I'm rambling, okay, what was I saying, um, it comes from a position where, um, all life is sacred, but there's, there's so, there's a huge, uh, of the Venn diagram of opinions, the people who usually are pro-life, there is a gigantic overlap. Sorry, that's a bird. There is a gigantic overlap between the pro-life beliefs and also quite pro-war, or the sort of that. that uh, obviously, not everyone. I'm, I'm generalizing slightly, but it always it, it's the there's like there's a quote from a dude. I can't remember. It might be um. Remember that comedian dude? You know him. You know, you know that comedian dude. You know, yeah, it might be him. But where it was. I was going to say that they're pro life. They're, they're pro life until you come out of the womb, and after that, you're fed them for yourself. That's not the quote. That would be an awful quote. But it's 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 something like that. It's the implication where they only care about the U.S. whilst it's the U.S. The second is a it's born. Oh, fend for yourself. Grab a gun. Fight in the war. You know. I mean, it's yeah. And I think that I see that position quite a lot, and it seems to me quite disingenuous. I, I don't really, I don't really get it. But again, again, there's the other Louis, there's the Louis C.K. quote. I think it's Louis C.K. Where the 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 take on it either is they're not a human, so it doesn't it doesn't matter they're not a person, or they are a person and they're murdering babies. So you can you can you can definitely see why those two views are always going to be very polar opposite, um, and create a little bit of contention between people. To, to put it lightly, I suppose, my view is is they are not people. Um, they're 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 just things. I don't see them as babies. I see babies as things that are born, like that you can see with your eyes without one of the without one of the things. Uh, that's that's my take. I again, but I'm I'm a white dude with a beard. You know, takes from white dudes with beards historically have not helped the world out too much but I think it, most of my political beliefs kind of boil down to yeah you just do what you want as long as it's not hurting everyone but I suppose then there's the clash of you saying well it might hurt someone that's a baby you're destroying I mean if you if you want to think it's that then go for it but it you know it doesn't feel pain it doesn't really have a sense of sentience it's it's it, yeah I don't know. It's tough. I think there are very, very there are loads of reasons why people would need an abortion. Um, medically, socially. I think it's very, very important that people have access to that sort of healthcare. Um from from the realms of um, well, I'm not ready for a kid yet, and this would effectively uh, make my life incredibly difficult. I and mean, I shouldn't be forced to do this. Is completely justified. And also, um, I've been sort of a, a victim of an assault, and I need to, I need to do that. Is 
as equally justified. I think people are saying, no, no, you, you should you should carry it to term when you don't want to is an absolutely ridiculous premise because it's not their body. It's not their choice. It's they don't, they don't it's it's them saying, Well you don't do that because I don't want you to. Well, it doesn't really matter what you want because it's not it's not your body. <laughs> it's their choice whether they whether they want to what they what they want to do. And people who believe that they should have a say in in other people's bodies is I don't really understand it at all. I don't know what gives them the right. <laughs> I know some of it comes from a religious point, the evangelical point of the lives and stuff, but I'll just let people do what they want, mate. It'd be easier, easier, easier time for everyone involved. The, yeah, I think the the I think the same with me with with children. I don't particularly want children. I don't have the need for it. I think uh, the idea of a child right now is quite daunting. Uh, I don't I don't have a lot of money as it is, and I think it would make my life very difficult because then obviously I'm not if, if I if someone if something happens and I have a kid obviously I'm not going to be like well here's a pack of cigarettes and here's a microwave fend for yourself I'm going to but it would just yeah maybe that's a selfish view I don't know I don't think it is but it is what it is um but there's already so many kids out there that have been the product of sort of people not being able to get abortions where they probably would have done it and they've given birth and, and the child's ended up in the system and those children need families. And that, that, so the idea of bringing my own into the world when there are loads of kids that that need families is is sorry, it sounds like someone's revving a car. They're probably revving a car. I don't know why it sounds like someone's revving a car. It's something that only my microphone is picking up. That's very imperceptible. Well, um, sorry, I got very distracted then. Um, the idea that bringing my own child into the world would be something that, that is worthwhile when I could just give a child a family, give a child love and a home that needs it. It's great, yeah. There's, I don't really prescribe to the need where my offspring needs to be mine, my DNA. I, I, I understand it, the lineage and stuff is obviously very important. Um, of the sense of I wouldn't be here today if every single one of my ancestors hadn't made the choice to procreate and it would essentially be stopping my direct lineage but what does that does, I don't care <laughs> what does that matter in the grand scheme of things we you know we all turn to dust again one day no one's keeping a record I, that's my take on it I, I tried to I got distracted with this one because I had to I wrote all life is sacred because that's when my mic cut out I need to remember and I tried to draw two people celebrating just to be like, hey, we're family, yay. But um, it, it, didn't, it didn't turn out like that. Um, politics is the, is the next one here on my list. Um, I would consider myself... Um, uh, a second. This is a man with one wing. Uh, because I'm quite left wing. That's a man with a left wing. Jesus Christ. I would consider myself... Uh, quite left wing uh, when, when it comes to most things really there aren't really many things I take I'm definitely not what one can well right, left wing and right wing are quite nebulous concepts anyway they're not it's not always particularly clear when someone says they're left wing what they mean and same with right wing uh, but on well, as you will you will probably tell from just the answers to this and what I'm, the opinions I've expressed in this kind of what that means and what my political view is um, I don't want to give loads of personal information on this as well because I realise there's a lot of stuff that you, someone potentially if I give too much information out could use nefariously but for the most part um, I'm relatively against the Conservative Party in the UK by relatively I mean absolutely <laughs> Um, I don't really agree with much of the stuff they do, how they do it, how they go about doing it. Uh, I think it's... I think conservative beliefs, for the most part, are setting the country back, back, back from progress. And I don't understand, not through lack of trying, 
people who vote conservative a lot I don't really I don't really understand where they're from and bear in mind I come from a I'm not, I don't I don't come from a super wealthy family I am not I wasn't really raised in money or anything like that um wasn't working class um but as I said we definitely weren't definitely weren't rich by any stretch of the imagination and I, the idea of sort of well, it's oh, it's tricky isn't it it's tricky it's tricky it's a tricky thing to explain it's a tricky thing to define I don't I don't think that the conservative ideology the viewpoints are, are looking out for people that politics should be looking out for it seems to me like there's a lot of business interests there um, and putting money into the pockets of people like themselves as opposed to running the country in a way that I personally think it should be run where it's a lot more um oh, people hate the word socialist socialist has a, has a very a negative view but realistically it's the NHS is socialist it's the needs of the the needs of the many over the needs of the few right that's that's the the NHS is socialist I think that and that's amazing the only reason why it's struggling is because the conservatives have been in power for the past decade and done awful things to it and tried to I don't want to ramble about politics but it seems like there's a lot of forces uh, oh this will sound like a conspiracy theory now I suppose in a sense it is uh, but I think it's one with, with quite a lot of evidence and well it's not you can just look and it's you will find I think it to be true whether the the media in the UK a large majority of it is owned by uh, quite right-wing conglomerates that have fairly clear agendas the Sun, the Daily Mail, the Murdoch Press, all that sort of stuff and obviously they always take the right-wing position and being the, the, one of the dominant media outlets for a huge demographic of the country you get this really weird position where it's just a really easy propaganda machine for right-wing beliefs because they're like, you see what they did to Jeremy Corbyn and things like that, people who are actually legitimate threats because uh, well, Corbyn did amazing things, but I know obviously he made mistakes as well. I'm, I, I don't think it's, I don't agree with people who, um, is infantilized is the wrong word, to, who are fanatics about singular politicians. Um, be it Corbyn or Trump or whatever, I think that's um, a, a bad road to walk down because you end up having to explain away flaws and everyone has flaws and really just become fans of political ideologies and uh, the good it can bring to people over people themselves would be my would be my take. But hey, that's just a little on me. And you have those pre the press, the newspapers working against you. So you essentially have like a, a self fulfilling machine of people who, um, who are just reading, getting their news, but the news is very biased, and it's always going to downplay some of the left wing stuff, and always make it seem like conservatives are doing great things when, eh, realistically, not so much. They made a lot of mistakes, an awful lot of mistakes that, and they aren't really being held to account properly because they they can't not right now that the the whole political it, it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. That's my take on politics. I didn't... I didn't draw anything for this one. I just drew a left wing. <laughs> uh, I was rambling. Um, uh, but that being said, I, I'm not really... A, I'm, I don't mind Keir Starmer. He's not... He's not awful. He's not great. I understand quite a lot of the criticisms um, about him. He's the leader of the Labour Party in the UK. The opposition government for those not... Uh, not in the UK. He's not he's not awful. He's not great. He's got a lot of flaws, as everyone does. Uh and I think he's made a couple of weird decisions. Um but then again, so has every politician ever. Um But he would get he would get my vote over the over the Conservative Party. Any day, I don't think I will ever vote. I don't think I will, I will ever vote Conservative. Um, I drew a left wing, and then I couldn't think of what I drew, so I just draw a cute little dragon. Yeah. Okay. The next thing on here was gun control. Now, not a particularly hot topic for myself. I live in the UK, Wales specifically. Um, not many people here have guns. Just farmers. 
and their mums as well. But that's that's about it. Uh, in terms of here, I've never, I don't think I've ever seen in it outside of a controlled environment. I've never seen a live firearm on the streets that aren't that aren't being held by sort of armed police officers and stuff. But my my hot take from someone who doesn't live in America, um, which I'm sure you've all been, um, they've all been waiting for this is going to be on Fox News. They'd be like, ah, oh, finally we got Danny's take. Just ah, oh. it's it's a it's a really weird paradigm. The culture from in the in the in the United States, it seems to be that I don't know, I haven't been doing much drawing. The culture it seems to be, well, I've got a gun. I've got a right to have this gun, um, because of how it, the because of how the culture there is about guns. You, you cannot take this gun away from me because that's the whole point, I've got this gun. I've got this gun specifically, so you can't take it away from me. And if you do try and take it away from me, they'll be hell to pay, sir. That's kind of from what I understand. The, the thought process behind it, which isn't great when there are situations where you don't need that many guns. You can have, if you, if you like gun, that's a gun, by the way. If you like guns, that's right. Well, there's that very famous Jim Jeffries bit on gun control, isn't there? Well, the only legitimate reason for owning lots of guns is I like guns. Doesn't really make sense with home defense stuff, really. You're not going to need some AR-15 to... Uh, 500 people have turned up at my door. You have the minigun. It is what it is. And then there's the, the age-old thing of it made more sense back in the day of muskets and sort of, sort of thing. But you're like, your, your AR, your, your automatic... Your automatic chain laser blaster fucking musket isn't going to do much against a, a drone that's so high up you can't even see it. They can just drop munitions on your house and destroy your neighborhood. That's the the balance of power is slightly outweighed there. And, and someone might be saying that list and go, "Well, that's all the more reason to have guns to level the playing field as much as possible." Well, that. If there's another civil war, I think you'll have more problem. Like, it's America. You've seen the stuff they have access to. Even if you, even if you had five assault rifles, you are not going to be able to do much against the mili- some form of like military you're fighting. It's that's. I, I, I'm, I'm I'm digressing. I'm digressing. I I think gun control. Hey, we had a massacre. Australia had a massacre. They said no more guns. I'm like, right. <clears throat> so I think I'm not. I can't. I can't remember if Australia has no guns or just no big guns. Fine. UK had a massacre. They said no guns. We, they went all right. No massacres. No, very few. Well, yeah. No massacres. Very few massacres. So in Canada, I think they're the same. And America hasn't really conned on yet to the, to the beneficiary of that. But it's again, it's the whole. Well, how are you going to get rid of the guns? The only way to stop a good guy with a gun is a. That's definitely not the phrase. We'll go with it. The only way to stop a good guy with a gun is a bad guy with a gun. I mean, then yeah, but then have a handgun. You don't need a. You don't need a. What, what if what if the bad guy has an a an, a, an automatic weapon? Well, the bad guy already had. They already have an automatic weapon. Well, it's. I, 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 I basically, I, I think guns are. I don't. You don't need them. I come from the UK. Obviously, in in America. Culture's different, people will have guns. But then again, you can't have an arms race. You can't have, like, you can't have, well, they might have a gun, so I need to. Uh, I need to have a bigger gun, and they'll have a bigger gun, and they'll have a bigger gun. And you end up with the uh, sort of neighborhoods with. And a missile launches. That's not true. That's never going to happen. And that's. Point being, guns are silly. This isn't a particularly hot take. This, I just. I just think. They're cool, don't get me wrong, they are cool. You pull the trigger, it goes bang. Very fun. So don't kill people. That's that's my take. Stop stop killing people. If you if you hey if you're thinking about you if you're thinking about killing someone, don't. Stop it. Stop it. Can you read a book. I, I keep forgetting to. I keep getting carried away in monologuing, and I keep forgetting to <laughs> to draw things. Um, we got two more. We got two more left on this one free speech free speech is is one of them 
uh, which is an odd one because I don't think anyone's against free speech. It'll be a very a take. Someone go for it. No, no, mate. No, I don't like free speech. I like being told what to do. I like when someone goes, oh, this is your opinion on apples. You bloody love them. I don't love them. You do now. Oh, I love apples. Yeah. Oh. That's not, I don't think that's at the date. I think when I wrote free speech down, I should have written a note about what I meant. But I think I was talking about the whole... Well, sorry if it offends you. I've got a right of free speech now. That whole that whole take of people can just go around saying whatever they want and with absolutely no repercussions whatsoever under the guise of free speech. I think that was the specific thing I was referring to, um, which I think is again mostly again another age-old idiom. Freedom of speech does not mean freedom from repercussion sure you, you can go around screaming at four o'clock in the morning that all frogs are made of tinfoil and the birds are gay you can do that if you if you want to do that you know you, you can but you're not free from the repercussion of you know the neighborhood being like don't do that <laughs> sorry that's not so much a free speech issue that's more of a don't yell at four o'clock in the morning issue what's a better example uh All right, you are free in in whatever to say. Uh, what's the U.S. example? The whole um, Donald Trump won the vote friggin' fraud thing. That thing. You're free to go around saying that, but you're not free from the repercussion of people ostracizing you for saying like a lunatic. <laughs> you can't if you stand in at a public place and yell about it, and someone comes up to you and goes, "What are you, what are you doing, mate? You're an idiot." You can't be like, it's just free speech, mate. It is free speech. But so is him calling you an idiot. Because he's also free to say that. Again, I, I, it's, I, don't know, I don't know what I draw. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm drawing at this point. Um, there's, you've got, yeah, you know what I mean? You know what I mean. I'm rambling now. You can, you can always tell my concentration dips at the start of this video. I'm sure I seemed really with it, really there. And now my head's in the clouds. Honestly, I don't know what day it is. Tuesday. It, I, I didn't know what day it was. It is Tuesday. But I think, yeah, my point being with free speech is I think some people some people think with free speech there shouldn't be a clause for hate speech and you should just be able to say anything, whatever. I think that's dumb. I think don't go around hating people, man. Because <laughs> there's a fine line between hate speech and incitement. Um... And it's very easy to rile up a crowd with with hate speech against a certain people. And that crowd then go and hurt people. And you go, well, it's just free speech, mate. I was just saying something. It's very obvious where these things lead and where they come from and their motivations. And if your motivation is to go out and say hate speech against someone, that shouldn't be in any way encouraged. I think that's pretty dumb. So that's my take. That's my take. Um, but essentially, the same as the rules on the Discord. Just don't be a dick. If you you've got free if you've got free speech free speech is important don't be a dick though just don't it's, a lot of things aren't free speech issues just people being assholes um the last point I've written here I think spelt wrong um artificial intellectual I think I mean artificial intelligence uh because there's a, a hot debate right now whether artificial intelligence is going to become too strong too strong <laughs> please stop playing for please stop praying for granddad he cannot be stopped. Uh, it's going to become too powerful. And sort of when we have... It's going to take over the world or something. I don't know. We've definitely... That's, that, it, that is not an impossibility. Uh, all it takes is for that, for a military to have um, a particularly powerful drone um, with a large ammo capacity and targeting software and someone to press the wrong button and it to identify everyone in the city as targets and it goes on a rampage before eventually being able to be stopped and shut down that's not an, that's not an impossible that is in no way an impossible scenario that could very easily happen but there's an awful lot of oversights i think as part of the the using drones and robots in warfare one of the things they've brought in is that the robot cannot make the choice to fire 
it can identify targets, it can aim, but a human has to be the one to go kill. Um, to, to stop those things, so it can never make, it can never choose to pull the trigger, or if it does choose to pull the trigger, it, I think there has to be a lot, it's, it's a whole thing, I don't know, I'm, I'm not, a, I'm not, not big on military intelligence. So you've got that with artificial intelligence, so there are lots, lots of checks and plays, I think in a society that was, that cared less about the ethics, then maybe we might, it might be a bit of a problem, there are a lot more countries that rely on artificial intelligence, and I want to say AI is, I feel like AI is somewhat of a, an outdated term. It's more deep learning and neural networks. That seems to be the thing now. What with, um, was it GPT-3, uh, DALI-2 and stuff? We'll have a lot more problems. When when those things are more publicly available, which I, they probably will be at some point, um, I'm really looking forward to DALI-2 coming out. If you guys don't know what DALI-2 is, ah, it's excellent. Uh, you just type in a sentence. Snap cut again. Very sorry. My memory card ran out of... I need to buy... I'm using like a 32 gig memory card, which I'm filming usually, sometimes in 4K. It really doesn't... I need to buy a bigger memory card. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this to myself. As I was saying 20 minutes ago in in my time, but instantly in your time. Isn't the internet great? The, the powers of uh, GPT-3 and DALI when they're more publicly available, it, it'll get a bit weird. Because these things can create near photorealistic, deep faked images, text, the, yeah, it's it's a whole thing. It is, yeah, it's gonna get, it's gonna get interesting when it does happen. There'll be a lot of ethical concerns, especially with deep faking, um, both for political reasons, um, and naughty reasons as well, that happens in the deep fake stuff. It, it will raise a lot of complications and a lot of issues, unfortunately, but, you know, it's, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, there's no sense not doing something just because it might turn out bad. I think with progress, part of making progress is learning to deal with the downsides of the progress you make, because if you make something awesome and it kills everyone, you don't really made any progress, you've just made, you've made a mess. So I think progress comes with making new advancements and then dealing with the problems that they, they come up with. That's part of progress, in my opinion. Those are all the things that I wrote down for today. This is a very different style of video. Very different style of video. I'm not, I'm not being a silly boy today and doing what I usually do. I thought, yeah, maybe something a bit more interesting. And this is a longer video as well. And people always ask, Danny, why are all your videos two and a half minutes long? I'm like, well, I'm busy, and I. Uh, so this is something a bit different. If you like it, please let me know in the comment section below. Um, oh, I've got to say it. Like and subscribe. I'm really bad at saying that. So the basis of my whole thing is doing if you guys doing that. If you guys don't do that, I've got I mean, may as well be doing this to a wall. I might, who knows? Uh, yeah. So if you like the video, please like and subscribe it. Leave me a comment. If you want to support me, I've got various things in the description. You can do so. You're never obliged to. But if you want to do, I'm always very, very appreciative of it. Yeah. That's it. I always never know how to end these, these ramble videos. Because I feel like I should end on like a... I've, I've, that's my show business brain from my other line of work. Always like, well, you always end strong. I'm like, I'm going to end on a musical number or something. No, you can just go to bed now, can't you? Just go to bed. Go back to what you're doing. Go back to thinking about eggs or something. I don't know what you guys are doing, but if you were doing that, go 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 back to doing what you were doing before you watch this, or maybe something different. You know, I'm gonna I'm, 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 I could end I could ramble for the next twenty minutes, so we're gonna stop this video now. Thank you so much for watching, and have a lovely rest of your day. Tooroo.